Hello, my name's Linda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to show you a little bundle that I've made up here. Now, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, Stampin' Up! have challenged us demonstrators to make um, simple steps, so uh, simple stamping cards. And this is a little bundle for those um, non-card makers out there or somebody who just wants to start out, just showing you um, the limited amount of products that you need to make some cards. So I've started with, and these are the um, Whisper White note cards and envelopes, and you get uh, 20 cards and envelopes in here. And I've got, I've got one here. They're, um, I think they're um, three and a half by five inches, and they come with like a little note card and an envelope. And then I've chosen this stamp set. I've gone for this one because um, it has loads and loads of sentiments on it and loads of sentiments that, uh, that you would use. Um, so like happy birthday, party time, love you, it's your day, um, forever young, so you've got these little tiny ones as well. And not only that, but it um, incorporates uh, flowers and leaves, um, it's got balloons in it and it's got this great little um, stamp here that you can fit one of these little sentiments in there as well. It also says to you, like happy birthday to you and belated, so you could make gift tags as well, as well as birthday cards. So, I've then chosen the black memento ink because um, I believe that you should have black ink. If you're gonna be doing anything, black ink is the ink that I use the most. And then I've gone for blueberry bushel, but um, you would just go for your favorite color. Blue is my favourite colour. I've gone for a dark one because we can stamp off, which means we can have um, different tones of the same colour. And then I've gone for this block, and this is a C block. And all of these stamps fit onto this particular block. Okay, so let me just show you some cards that we can make. I'm going to be making um, four cards. And I have got here, I'm, I'm cheating a tiny bit here. Let's come in a bit because um, I have these note cards that I'm going to be using for a card class that I'm going to be doing so I don't want to break into them and use them so what I've done is I've just cut a piece of whisper white here which is the same size as the note card so I'm going to be doing my work on there but obviously you, when you do yours you can just do it directly onto the note card okay so I'm going to be starting with the balloons now I'm using quite a lot of the um, stamps so this is my hooray balloon I'm going to do it this way and I'm going to start with the black ink so let's come out a tiny bit so you can just see my ink and what I'm up to So, as, as, as I'm making this um, video, I'm realising this is probably for a beginner stamper. So with the black ink, the memento ink, you, you tap it and twist, tap and twist. And then I'm just going to push it onto my card, hold it firmly and release it. And then I'm going to do that again. Because um, I want to come off of my card as well, so I'm just going to put a piece of paper there. It's always a nice idea to stamp a little bit off the card, off the edge of the card, and that it gives a good look to the card. So I'm just going to be, I'm just bringing in here a little post-it note, and I'm going to stamp my balloon on there as well. And then I'm just going to cut my balloon out roughly. And you don't have to use post-it notes, just a piece of um, of paper, like a piece of printer paper, it will be fine. And this is just so I can cover one of my balloons up while I'm stamping. Okay, so I'm going to bring in this little twisty bit here. So there's this little twisty stamp here, and that is going to be the string from our balloon. And 
And I'm just going to put that at the end of my balloons. Okay, so now because I want to do my um, string coming from this balloon, I'm just going to cover that up with my piece of paper and put that one down there. And then I need to leave it on actually because I'm going to do the one above. And there we go. So now I'm going to be bringing my colour in. So I've got my blueberry bushel. I'm going to replace my balloon with this one here and this is um, a lots of little dots that go over the top of that balloon so it's sort of going to colour it in for us so with this ink pad we're just going to do gentle tapping we do not want to do lots of twisting and we do not want to push it in because then if you push it in really hard you'll get ink all the way around your block and you don't want to do that and then I'm going to stamp off so onto just a piece of scrap paper and then on top of my balloon and then we get it like a little subtle blue colour it's coming a little bit so again gently tap in stamp off and then onto my balloon Okay, now I've brought in one of the sentiments. I've chosen it's your day. And I'm going to use the blue for this as well. So I gently tap in and I'm going to put that down the bottom there. And there you go. And that will be our first card. How simple is that and effective? So again, I'm going to be stamping all over this piece of paper. And I'm going to be using my black ink again. And I'm going to use this little tiny flower here. And I'm going to be doing random stamping. I'm going to ink it up every time I stamp it. And I want to come off of the page as well. I'm leaving some gaps in between because I'm going to fill those gaps in with um, some leaves. So I've stamped all my flowers on there and now I'm going to choose the leaf and there's a few here, there's um, three leaves to choose from. I'm going to go for this one on this occasion. And then I'm just stamping randomly in between my flowers and I'm turning my block every time I stamp my next leaf and that way your leaves move around the page nicely. Try not to do what I've done there. I've just put my thumb in that one. Don't do that. And I've just recent I've just inked this pad up as well so it is quite juicy. All of our ink pads you can get um little refills. So once they once they start going dry you can get a little refill and uh, ink them ink them up even the black one you can do that with the black one as well okay so I've just pulled in a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to I'm using this long long stamp here now though this is still my C block I have had to put this one on at an angle to fit it on and I'm just using my black I'm just going to stamp that onto my piece of scrap paper and then I'm going to put a sentiment inside this is actually for a demonstrator this is quite a challenge doing this because we're so used to having quite a lot of items I've been a demonstrator for a few years now and so I've got quite a lot of stamps and ink colours and to suddenly limit yourself is quite tricky. I'm using the Forever Young and I'm doing it in my blue. And there we go. 
and then I'm just going to cut that out with a pair of scissors just go round so I'm going to bring my flowers back in with a little bit of scrap paper there and the flower that I chose was this flower here oh, here it is <laughs> this flower here and this one above it the black one above it I'm going to be using that and that is a filler stamp so I'm going to use my blueberry bushel again I'm going to ink it up and I'm using it full strength and then I'm doing another one so I used it full strength on there I'm just going to ink that up again and I'm going to use full strength again here and then I'm going to use it again without inking it up so you get a different shade of the same colour and this is quite tricky to do because I'm trying to not get my head in the f into the picture but obviously you can take your time when you're doing this yourself so if you do one of your flowers off the edge which I'm going to do now do not then re-stamp because I'll show you what happens if you re-stamp you get a line and that's because you have gone over the edge so your ink has, un has um, left that line where, where the card was there so if you do that you need to re-ink so I just brought in my Forever Young and I'm just going to glue that on and as I'm saying this I've realised then that you're using glue which you, I have not provided in my kit so I've made an error already but you could use a Pritt stick if you've got a Pritt stick at home you could use that another option would be to leave a space so you can just stamp that onto the card and that is actually what you should have done just stamp it onto the card as I said it's so tricky doing this simple stamping ok I'm going to go on to my next one my next one I'm going to use some paper underneath it as well it's a little bit trickier but you've already made two so you're getting good at it so I'm going to be starting with this little rose so where is it we're using this this flower here I'm going to be using these two flowers and again these black ones they are fillers so they we use the black for this one and then we fill it in with our color and I've lost the black here it is so I'm just going to be stamping at the edge and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the other side so I'm sort of mirroring across there okay so this is so this is what I've done so far and now I'm going to get bring in my my little filler stamps and again I'm using my blueberry bushel I need to put something underneath there and I'm going to fill my rows in I'm going to do the other side Okay, now I'm just using my sentiment in the middle I'm going for it's your day and I've done it in the blueberry bushel again okay and there's that card finished there I'm now doing my last card I'm using this little leaf so I'm using this one I'm using black and I'm coming up 
from the bottom of my page so this one you can join it up okay I'm only going to do that once just so you can see that it can be done I'm bringing my little flower back in again and I'm going to put that on the top of all of these This time I'm going for make a wish and I'm going to do it in black. I'm going to put it on this side of my card. And I'm sure you've guessed we are then going to fill the flowers in with the blueberry bushel or whatever colour you choose. There are loads of really, really lovely colours to choose from. I'm stamping up. If you'd like to go over to my blog post after watching this, then you'll be able to see the items that I've used. I've put a list of the products that I've used, but you can choose whatever colours you want. Okay. So I'm just going to finish this off by decorating my flap of my envelope. So open it up, we're just going to do this side. I'm going to make an envelope for my balloon card. So I'm going to do some hooray balloons. Okay, always stamping odd numbers. Same as if you're planting. When you plant your plants, always plant in odd numbers. It's exactly the same as stamping. It looks better. I'm going to bring my blueberry bushel in. I'm going to stamp off. And then stamp that we did the cards. envelope there how cute is that and there would be your card that went with it and I'll just bring in the others that we made and there you go and if you can imagine these in your favorite color and everything that I've used today will be on my blog so the pad the stamping pad in blueberry bushel the memento tuxedo black I have this little C block that we used the um, cards and envelopes and obviously our lovely happy birthday gorgeous stamp set at the moment if you place an order of £45 you also get to choose um, a free item because it's celebration and that will last until the end of March and I've just got a few stamp sets here actually that I have I have received with my celebration so there's this little froggy one hello cupcake and this one is really cute as well um, 
and these are all free you get these for nothing if you spend 45 pound and there's other things that you could choose from as well they're just the ones that i had handy next to me on the desk so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed my simple stamping and i really hope you have a go um any questions please get in touch with me go to my blog and send me a message or go to my facebook page and stamping by the beach up here is my name so thanks for watching, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.